Hello John, today um, we're going to talk about the Citizens Assembly. We spoke about it before and we're just going to go into it with a, more, a little bit of depth. So, what do you think of the Citizens Assembly? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it is a very important uh, item that uh, uh, when we were having our holiday in Spain there, uh, it come to a, a conclusion, this Citizens Assembly. Uh, this of course was um, started uh, by the Fine Gael Labour government that was trenched in the last election uh, but still uh, continuing in, in this present uh, uh, government, uh, mixed, mixed, mixed government that had been elected in 2016, this Citizens Assembly. It sounds very democratic. Uh, but sounding democratic and being dem democratic is two entirely different things. Uh, for example, a citizen assembly should have regard for the tradition of the country and the practice of the citizens of that country, uh, namely Ireland, d down the years. That is, the Catholic and Christian religion or the Protestant religion. Church of Ireland, etc., Methodist, and so on and so forth. So that Did was not their that was not their objective. Their objective was an apparently accord that they invited the British Pregnancy Advisory Service, the notorious service that has uh, presided over eight million abortions, if you like, deaths in that country. So these were the uh, experts given their opinion. What did they expect those people to give except to suggest abortion? I just want to just stop you there for a second John and just say to you that the, the, uh, some people would say the Citizens Assembly would probably say that it's democratic given they picked an anonymous 99 or 100 people. They were yeah, randomly well, picked. You can, you can have a hundred people or five hundred people or fifty people and call it what you like uh, by way of uh, randomly picked. Uh, but if they're fed uh, the information uh, that I've described, if they're fed that information and uh, the, a judge uh, or a, a justice uh, is there to sort of advise them on the legal questions, well, if you're constrained to that extent, and uh, your objective of being set up is to sort of give encouragement uh, to the government to start to uh, bring forward uh, um, bring forward a, a referendum, uh, much the same as they brought forward uh, for the same sex marriage referendum, and organise it in such a way as uh, it's. Um, a kind of a right and the citizen assembly has recommended this uh, uh, abortion uh, termination of of a, a child uh, that might be born uh, in the womb uh, you know from a woman that's pregnant so um, they come out with this proposal and to add insult to injury you know it's been described as a, a farce but uh, they come out with the opinion uh, that uh, ab abortion would be considered in this country on poverty grounds. Poverty grounds. The only uh, country, as far as I know, in the world with this poverty as a reason for abortion. If you want to be vindictive and completely unrepresentative of civilized behavior, that's the sort of nonsensical decision you would come to. Uh, words nearly fail me to describe the Sizz's Assembly. It's not fit for purpose, it's a farce, and, uh, uh, but uh, this present government of the mixed independence etc and one particular one, uh, the Minister for Children, Catherine Zappone, Canadian citizen, but perhaps now an Irish citizen also, in the uh, Minister for Children, uh, she uh, is is supports uh, this uh, change in our uh, laws to protect the life of the unborn child. 
the um, so the method of selection they they, they carried out um, I think it was the Red Sea the Red Sea uh, marketing agency um, they did on market research and they did they randomly picked 99 people is there any other way of doing it that would be more democratic well the government is elected democratically it's their decision to do it this was um uh, the usual uh, slate of hand uh, of a government that's not fit to govern uh, in these important areas. Uh, <clears throat> there was absolutely no need of any citizen assembly. I believe, uh, and uh, we'll, have, we'll have to check into this later on, that uh, uh, there was a bunch of uh, people, mostly professors and people with plenty of time in their hands, uh, that um, um, made some inquiries along these lines years before uh, and got some financial backing. Now, whether that was a forerunner for this citizen assembly or what, uh, it'll be for another day. Uh, but certainly, I'll be doing some in, making some in, in inquiries into into the background uh, to this uh, because uh, there are forces. Uh, intellectual and elites uh, that puppet that sort of uh, tell citizens uh, how to live and disregard any Christian or Catholic foundation uh, to, to the laws of the country and to the protection and to the support uh, of the of the unborn and various other things that are happening now in other countries like euthanasia etc. So. We, we, we just concentrate on this, but uh, it's, 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 it, it will confuse people uh, that uh, have not practiced any religion or perhaps don't believe in any, any um, of that aspect. Also, this is very important, we already had a referendum in 1983 to, the, to uh, protect the child and the mother, which was passed and it resulted in this thing called Amendment 8. Now, this concentration on Amendment 8 is to me another slate of hand to confuse the electorate. This government and the previous government are experts at that. So, would you say that we have a, here, we have a bunch of intellectuals pushing their, idea, their ideas, their agenda on a kind of a naive, um, Correct. 99 I mean, or 100 people, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, Would you yeah, say that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, which, uh, which happened in other jurisdictions to a terrible degree. Don't forget, in Germany, an elite group came up, uh, the Nazis, and eventually controlled uh, the way the media operated and uh, told lies and this propaganda with this chap Goebbels. So there's a precedent for the sort of manipulation of news and an agenda. Uh, I believe the media has an agenda, they continuously um, dig into uh, anything that can, uh, that can um, bring um, um, disrepute on the Catholic Church and its institutions and they'll go back a hundred years but I notice they don't go back to the penal times, they don't go back to the persecution of, of Catholics and Christians in this country not that long ago. They don't go back to the famine. Uh, there's a lot of things they don't talk about. They talk about what their agenda is. And it has to be opposed. I mean, they said that they picked the people anonymously, or randomly, sorry. Um, but what I'd be interested may maybe more to find out, and maybe you would too, is whether they picked them based randomly on their demographics. For example, if they picked them from a poor, uneducated area, um, that would affect the outcome of what these people think? Well, I, I think like it's a misnomer, number one. As, as I said, the government is government to, 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 that they're elected to govern. Uh, this is an underhand effort to get the result they want, to confuse the electors as they did in the previous referendum for same-sex. Uh, the church be the Catholic or the Protestant Church would want to step up to the plate and advise their, those that believe in, 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 the, in, in, in the faith 
uh, to advise them to oppose this referendum and not to be dictated to by a non-representative media, a crowd of ignoramuses that apparently are all atheists and believe in nothing. We, this, we will talk about this, John, another day. Um, I think in the next, in part part two or three of the Citizens' Assembly, we're going to have a phone in. You'll be talking to a few people live on the, on the phone. I will. Certainly um, look forward to that. So uh, maybe we might get a, one or two from Facebook, uh, one, of your, yes. one of your followers on Facebook as well. Certainly, and I suppose I might get one or two that will object to with, with, with my interpretation of, of this a state of hand. And now, I, I notice in programmes uh, that people have, that have this uh, pro-choice, in other words, pro-abortion approach. Uh, you cannot um, uh, discuss these things with them. They look as if they're entrenched. Uh, they're so caught up in this n nonsense of, of killing unborn uh, people, uh, children that's not, un un uh, that's not born, uh, the Down syndrome children uh, who are abraded addition to human life and the families in, in the country. In Britain and other despicable jurisdictions, uh, they, they have been nearly annihilated. What a shame on, on those countries and what a shame for the society that permits such a thing. Thank you very much, John Malone. Thank you.